Hello and welcome guys. RC Shim on the field. I want to test fly the DJI FPV drone today because I want to see how good the ORT dual band antennas actually are. First test will be with the stock configuration. So four of those stock version 2 stubbies. They are not the same as the version 1. Watch out. And the DJI copter in the nice range mode. This is kind of my baseline. I prepared this well. <laughs> I will use 2.4 GHz mode in the 40 MHz broadest band. Wi-Fi shouldn't be an issue even though I use wireless mics here, but they are small at use. Uh, I will fly around 50 meters high and will turn around latest at 2 kilometers of distance or if video gets too bad. Test one is an FCC mode with stock antennas. Let's check this out. Fifty meters of altitude. I'm at one kilometer. One bar of my HD link has been lost on the way. It's still a very good transmission. A very solid downlink in FCC mode and with stock antennas. I don't need that much more range. <sighs> okay, still only one bar missing and two kilometers reached. Turning back to myself is always a bit scary because this is where I already lost video, not in FCC mode though. So even with the stock antennas in FCC mode, on my way home, it was a bit degraded. So curious to see how the other antenna combinations will work. Sorry for the noise, it's a bit much traffic here. Take a moment to appreciate the nice place I found here. Very nice. Ah. Second test flight will still be in FCC mode, but with the new diggy eyes on the bottom. I will try it this way and that way. Still four bars. It's a bit of a pity that I cannot overlay the SRT files as I do with the normal DJI FPV. They just don't supply the nice SRT files anymore on the new craft, which is a shame. Anyhow, still four bars, 1.4 kilometers. Oh, I saw a slight movement, but it's back again. 1500, the signal, ah, now it's at three bars, it's 1660, also it's at four again. So I will, and I should, ah, oh, that's with the turn. Turn is, feels a bit stuttery. Now facing directly towards me. Okay, I lost one bar and not two. And it's definitely an improvement, but to be fair, this was to be expected because the standard antennas are pretty crappy and they get a lot of their range, of their video range, just by pure force with uh, enough RF power. I switched the drone's operation mode to CE mode with the same app, with the drone hex app that I switched it to FCC. So now it's in the limited power mode and it will still be on 2.4 gigahertz. And this will be our test number three, CE mode and stock antennas. Oh, I've lost something. I think my papers, hope I get them back. <laughs> I will not let a disconnect happen, I tell you guys. But I have three bars and cloud shadows. 
three bars, 800 meters, start three, ah, oh, this, is, this is so freaky, no, two bars and very blocky, I'm coming home, 800 meters, for some reason it's too expensive for me, this drone, <laughs> I mean it should go to return home, but sorry I'm such a chicken, it was down to the orange mode, I could have gone maybe 1.5 kilometers, but it's really shitty. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm definitely in the CE mode, because CE mode sucks with the standard antennas. Now we will switch to the dual band antennas once again, in the low power mode. Uh, Let's see if I can fly more distance now, or if I chicken out at around 900 meters. Okay, so if I was to buy these antennas, I would expect miracles now. Now I have two bars at 600 meters, three bars, so... Three bars, go up higher a bit. Okay, I'm at 800. This is where I wanted to turn around last time. It's a bit better, yeah. It's now three bars quite constantly. Is it stuttery? I don't know. Oh man, I want to turn home so badly. It's washed out, it's two bars at 1000 meters but it's three bars when I turn around yeah so they claim 40 to 60 percent more range with this this is about right I would say so this cannot be too scientific now yeah and we are fixed on 2.4 gigahertz Maybe this does something to the system. Two bars. Now the bars are all over the place now. Two or three bars. Yeah. It is scary though. You don't want to fly with a yellow video link. And now I turn and I get really... No. So, while this is for sure an improvement over the stock antennas, you cannot expect wonders out of it. So, yeah, but now, for example, one kilometer, three bars, quite good image. Ah, it's still always on the edge of my seat yeah let's bring it in and swap to using 5.8 gigahertz see if this changes it a bit how they do at all and i should also test 5.8 on stock containers then on purely stock containers hello just don't crash it. Awesome. I love this drone. You can call it potato drone as much as you like. But it's my little companion here. Ah, come on. But it's fighting the wind. In stabilized mode, it's a bit scary. At some point in time you need to choose your landing spot and then let go the sticks because you drift a bit but yeah so let go the sticks and go down <laughs> and don't do too much corrections then oh and collect dust like crazy i switch to 5.8 mode and see about the difference 
Okay, we are now using 5.8 gigahertz for video transmission and for control. I don't know, I guess I should check this in a future video as well. Um, 5.8 looks better, more smooth because it has the capability of, mm, of carrying more bitrate. That's just an impression, but I never on purpose switch between 2.4 and 5.8 here while flying. I let it choose its path itself. And I guess as long as it has enough range, it will always stay in 5.8. But let's concentrate on this flying here. So we are flying 66 meters. Uh, two bars at 870. Oh, is it start tree? No, it's not start tree. Two bars. Not happy about two bars. Constantly having my button, uh, my finger on the return to home button. Not pressed, but I'm ready. <laughs> 1100 meters, two bars. Video is good though. Going to 80 meters of altitude. Yeah, all the time two bars. 1300. At 1300, I want to turn around. I was down to one bar. And the red bar is really nasty. I don't like it. What, sh what shall we do with this test? Oh, it's ugly. No. Oh, I want to turn home. I definitely see an improvement with, with 5.8 and with the dual band antennas. Okay. Hey, there is the Breton da vorbei. So what do we do with those antennas? They don't look too fancy, to be honest, but they don't look uh, ugly. They shimmer. That's a plus. <laughs> they can stay on there because they are not very large. A bit larger, though, than the... Crystal HDs, a bit smaller than the three-turn helicals that I use now on my V1 goggles. Okay, here as a conclusion, my test results. Test one FCC mode with stock antennas, two kilometers, easy, could have gone further. Test two, even easier. I lost not so many bars. It was better, of course, with the patches in FCC mode. Test 3 is the worst case, CE mode and stock antennas, you want to turn around at around 900. I mean, you can go quite far, but if you turn, then you lose the video. So that's the shitty part of it. Tests 4 and 5 were CE mode and ORT patches. I got comfortable to around 1.3 kilometers, which is yeah, 40% more, something like this. The 5.8 gigahertz mode looked a bit sharper, maybe. All the others were on 2.4. I, I don't think I will see much of a difference between top and bottom mounting them patches. Because, yeah, it's, it's not easy to scientifically measure these antennas. So I can just give you sort of an impression rather. And the impression is... This is definitely an upgrade over the stock antennas, but this was to be expected. And I think that 5.8 will work better than 2.4. But your best bet will be to just leave the system do what it wants to do. So leave them on auto. So it will select the appropriate channel and frequency band for you. Even with those better, with those improved antennas, it's a bit scary to fly further away in CE mode. So if you have the chance to still get them 
goggles and get this system in the FCC mode. It's way more fun this way. We might even see an improvement in FCC mode when it comes to penetration. If you fly behind stuff, you will see better signal with them. And or if you go really long range. I had a little discussion with Igor, <laughs> hello Igor, about can you fly this system out very low to the ground, out kilometers? And that's not easy because of Fresnel zone. But with Fresnel zone, it might be better to be in 5.8 gigahertz mode and fly low to the ground than in 2.4. Think about this. <laughs> Anyhow, hope you enjoyed my little on the bench. I found a nice bench here once again. It's a bit loud here, but uh, very nice scenery, loads of space. Yes, it's a recommendation from me. Uh, of course, um, I didn't pay these antennas. They were sent by ORT, ECHO. Thanks for sending them to me. He didn't pay me anything other than sending me the antennas for free. Uh, I like this guy and I like his antennas. I'm not so sure if these are the best antennas but you're very limited on antenna choices. There are the True RC dual band stubbies on the market and this one which claims to be dual band. Other than this, you're pretty much stuck with stock. Stuck with stock, yeah. <laughs> which is not a bad thing because on the stock antennas and FCC mode, it just flies <laughs> very far. So yeah, until this, yeah, if you want to upgrade your antennas, I think they are not too expensive. Uh, you can support a small company, go ahead and buy them. I hope you like this, not so scientific, but yeah, my possibilities are re uh, limited here, sorry. I hope you like the test anyways, leave me a like, uh, subscribe if you aren't, even consider Patreon if you want to support work like this. And anyways, I look forward to the next test video. But now I'm also looking forward to riding home the bike. It's been a nice ride here. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.